Hello everyone. This is Miami Dolphins News and Rumors Channel. We release new videos at 8 a.m., 24-7. Panthers trade for QB Sam Darnold. What does it mean to the Dolphins? Research suggests Dolphins facing high-risk proposition at number 6 pick. What date is Super Bowl 56 at Sophie Stadium in Los Angeles? Subscribe and like this video. Panthers trade for QB Sam Darnold, what does it mean to the Dolphins? When the Miami Dolphins traded back up in the 2021 NFL Draft to move into the number 6 overall pick, they became the de facto gatekeepers of a potential second run on quarterbacks. Everyone is expecting signal callers to come off the board with the first three picks of the 2021 NFL Draft after the Dolphins traded number 3 overall to the San Francisco 49ers, but what happens from there is anyone's guess. The Atlanta Falcons could go with a quarterback, or they could go a different direction. The Cincinnati Bengals are likely weighing out the merits of Penny Sewell versus Jamar Chase. And the Miami Dolphins, depending on the action in front of them, could be picking from each of the four best skill players in this year's draft or alternatively have teams knocking on their door about a trade down once again from number 6 overall. Of course, the board would have to break right for that to even enter serious discussions, both from other teams and the Dolphins alike. But this afternoon's big news seems to be an indicator of what direction the board is going to fall and makes the likelihood of such a scenario dwindle from unlikely to nearly impossible. Reports have broken the news that the New York Jets are trading QB Sam Darnold to the Carolina Panthers for a 2021 sixth-round pick, plus extra selections in 2022, second and fourth rounds. Miami will feel the ripple effects of this move. First and foremost, Carolina, who was perhaps the most attractive trade-back option for the Dolphins if they were to explore a small move back to acquire any extra picks, appears to be out of the quarterback market and now transitions into potential competition for the Dolphins for a pass catcher or OT Penne Sewell. So consider a trade with Carolina off the table. And moving behind Carolina now feels like too big of a risk to take on for a team that hopes to acquire one of the top pass catchers in this year's draft. If the right team offered the right package, sure, perhaps the Dolphins would entertain the idea. But that feels like a pipe dream now. Carolina transitioning out of the quarterback market likely locks the Dolphins into a selection at number 6 overall if the team is intent of securing a top-flight wide receiver or tight end. Which now leaves just one prominent question. Who will be on the board when the Dolphins come on the clock at the end of the month? Research suggests Dolphins facing high-risk proposition at number 6 pick. The 2021 NFL Draft is many things, but one thing it is not as a sure thing. Each and every year, we see past first-round draft choices fall through the cracks and fail to live up to the expectations that come with a lofty draft status. It is a curse that the Dolphins are not immune to. The team struck out severely with their approach to drafting to Charles Harris in the first round back in 2017. The results in the early portions of the draft in recent memory have been otherwise admirable, even if the talents aren't still playing out their careers in South Florida. But the numbers suggest that if you're going to spend a first-round pick on a top talent, you'll be hard-pressed to find success at some positions versus others, and that should absolutely be of note to the Miami Dolphins. A recent research project, shared by Paul Hembekides and Vin Massey of ESPN, illustrates just how infrequently some positions find long-term success when drafted in the first round. The context for these numbers is important. Draft busts were determined by if a player signed a second contract with their original team and the sample size was 17 drafts from 2000 to 2016. And, with that in mind, the results should afford the Dolphins ample warning for their plans this month if things involve a pass catcher in the first round, the payoff is quite erratic. No position did worse from 2000 to 2016 in getting a second contract with their original team than the wide receiver position and only three positions, including receiver, did worse than tight end. So for all the talk of Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddell, Devonta Smith and Kyle Pitts, history suggests any of the four drafted at number six overall will have Dolphins fans holding their collective breaths to ensure the pick is a success. Recent success from day two wide receivers won't help the temptation to go after a more statistically stable position, but the Dolphins have a chance to draft an elite talent and must trust their evaluation process that whoever they deem to be the top talent available, regardless of position and historical risk, should be the pick at number six overall. 
but it is worth noting nonetheless as the Dolphins inch closer towards the brink of making their first and most critical choice of the 2021 NFL Draft. What date is Super Bowl 56 at Sophie Stadium in Los Angeles? The NFL has pushed its regular season to 17 games. That means a lot of schedule shuffling, including the Super Bowl. With the added game to the regular season, Super Bowl 56 will no longer be on the first Sunday in February. The game, which will take place at Los Angeles' Sophie Stadium, is set for February 13, 2022. The regular season will begin on Thursday night, September 9, and will end on Sunday, January 9, 2022. The Pro Bowl will be played on Sunday, February 6, 2022, at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. This is a monumental moment in NFL history, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell said in a statement. The CBA with the players and the recently completed media agreements provide the foundation for us to enhance the quality of the NFL experience for our fans. And one of the benefits of each team playing 17 regular, regular season games is the ability for us to continue to grow our game around the world.